I've got two bolts here. Uh, they belong to my friend Shane, and they're off a tractor. Shane's doing some restoration work on the tractor, and he wants these bolts repairing and replicating. It would be a simple matter to go and get two 10mm bolts and put them in, but he wants to keep it the same. That thread looks like 716C1F, I'm not sure. So I'll measure the thread up, and then I'm going to make two new bolts. I could weld that up and remachine it, but it's really, really badly pitted. I'll we'll measure the thread first. And here's 716. 716C1F's 20 TPI, and that's bang on 20 TPI. Now I haven't got a 716C1F die, believe it or not. I had all that done, all I've done with it. I'm going to screw cut the thread. I can screw cut 20 TPI on here. Uh, the last time I tried to screw cut an imperial thread didn't work very well, but I'm sure I've done 20 TPI before. I've also got some UNF inserts, so I'll be able to use a, a proper screw cut insert, and it should be quite a simple matter to, to do the threads. There's a bit of nice material there. It was a lead screw I made. Um, it should be right hand thread, not be the left hand thread. Anyway, so that's good material. I'll use a bit of that. Before I make the bolt, I'm going to turn a short piece of this down and just do a practice cut on the thread just to make sure it's right. I think this was EM24, was a piece of material. Well, them chips are warm. Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. See on your finger there with a the hot chip, bastard. That's down to size. I'm going to put a little recess in there, set the screw cutting tool up, and then put some threads. Set the room for the thread to drop into. So the insert is square to the job, which it is, like that. Right, we're all set ready to start. That rattling noise is just to change the wheels and the hips, so we have nothing to worry about. Once I engage this feed nut, I'll have to leave it engaged until the thread's finished. I'll just reverse the lead. I'm going to put them on a short thread like this. Looks good. I'll put it a little bit deeper into that pass.
Let's see where it's supposed to work. Right, so I took some readings. I know that 0.6 of a mil per side cut gives us a nice, a nice fit, so I can go ahead and make these bolts. I'm sure I'll be happy with that, and I am. Fair game is absolutely spot on. 20 TPI. Watch it there. Make it fit a little bit tighter than that. At least I know where I'm where I'm going with it. Put it to put the camera in the worst bastard place. Hey, that's better. Now, the threads on the end, which is probably the, the most interesting part of the whole job.
I'm just going to put a little recess in here for the screw cutting tool to go into. Well, that parting tool is actually broken. The right hand side part's missing. But it is putting just the right sort of groove in I need. That's all it needs. See, it's actually, it's actually chipped. Doing a bit of work that tip as well. Good 60 pence each, I'm not complaining too much. I know it's a right fair because we practiced on that little piece earlier on. I need to go as well. Change views are noisy. Happy with that. A little bit slack of anything, but I'm sure it'll be alright. Disengage the gearbox now. The next job is to machine the hex on the bolt head. The hex on the original bolts is 11 16 That's a proper English size for you. If I take one mil off each flat on here, it'll give us 11 16 so we've got a combination size of metric and imperial. Right, I'm just going to touch the tool off. Nice and gently bring it up, nice and gently because it just touches. Right, we're dialing a one mil cut now. Right, that's one mil. Lock the table off. So nice and gently. Easy to stop the milling machine before you go in there with your hands. You're only going to get stuck in there once. Bollocks. Right, so we'll go around to that one. One, two. I've also got a square collar block so I can do squares I can put two flats on it. Very, very handy little tool. Actually bought these ones, well I didn't buy them, I got them off Banggood, but I have made them before. But they're that cheap to buy, it's not really worth making them unless you want to practice. Back in the layers just to finish it off. Move 
three mil off that. It's pretty stainless in this machine. It's quite long, I can't remember where I made that lead through. I did keep it the material to the new OB. Need a little something. Right, that's the job done. One last job, that's the, the split pin hole to go through there. Once again, it's just time to see you. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in. Incidentally, I've just made 70,000 subscribers, which is a lot of subscribers. Uh, it'd be nice to get 100,000, so if you're watching this and you're all subscribed, just click the button. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, you f***ing there, John. You clumsy bastard.